Five years after divorcing my cheating wife, I want to work things out with her. Welcome to Castable. Friends comment what you think about this story share your experiences also give me like, subscribe and click on the bell for more Castable stories. My wife cheated on me throughout our engagement, wedding day and even the honeymoon. The best days of my life she was sending undressed pictures to another man every chance she got. Having relationships with him while she was supposed to be shopping for wedding dresses. I found out the worst way you can imagine. Even the consensus on Reddit was that she was beyond any second chance. A lot of stuff happened in between, I confronted her then went back and forth on what I want, but in the end filed for separation. She seemed to accept my decision and stopped her pleading and trying to convince me to try again. She said if I have made my mind she will try to at least make the divorce easier for me that we had really wild relationships the day she signed the papers and handed them to me. I hated her touch, but desired her body at the same time. She told me she was sad for herself but happy for me because I deserved much better than her. She broke down and said she had no reason to live anymore but she will keep living because she doesn't want to bother me. In my mind, I said I was a bad person, but in reality I shut up and left. I always had inferiority complex about wife that she is better than me in every way. Prettier, smarter, earns more, has way more friends. I also recognize now that I was heavily depressed even before finding out. I joked earlier that she doesn't look good with a plain, middle class guy like me. She should go be with some millionaire supermodel. She always said she finds such people shallow and boring, and she finds me beautiful too. So when it came out, I concluded that she is just like that. She is a liar, everything she has ever done or said to me is a lie. This image that she created in front of me, of someone who doesn't want anyone other than me. It is a facade she created for whatever inexplicable reason. She never loved me, never thought I was attractive. She had relationships with me and then go to the bathroom and send pictures of her body to him. She was just a liar and a cheat, that's who she really was in the inside. So his claim that he had nothing to live for, his proclamations before marriage that I am the only person he really cares about, that he will lose his identity if he loses me, I believed them all before because he said them with so much affection and conviction, but now I know they mean nothing. She has always lied to me. Just another manipulative statement. It's pretty obvious. Or so I thought. My ex kinda disappeared after that and I moved on too. I got into a lot of new hobbies for the next five years. It was a long time. I also dated a lot of people, tried casual relationships for the first time in my life. I just felt numb. There was nothing of substance, I did not enjoy my time with other women. There was an adrenaline rush that was addictive but not long lasting. But I did make a whole lot of what you could call friends. There were people to keep me company, I didn't feel alone at the very least. For the first time in life, I was able to actually confide in people. Even about my hardest struggles and about the cheating also. Earlier, I wouldn't have dreamed of trusting anyone that much. Weird how being betrayed made me trust people more. I started dating too, but couldn't click with anybody on the level I wanted. I floated in life this way for five years. Last week, I went on a solo vacation visiting many nearby tourist spots. In one such place, I saw my ex-wife in a roadside fast food restaurant. I immediately felt my heart drop, I had no intention of coming face to face with her. But she saw me before I could leave. At that moment, something changed. Maybe I just didn't want to make things awkward. Or maybe I right now figured out I actually needed some closure from her. I walked towards her, smiled at her like she was an old acquaintance and asked if she was alone. She stared at me wide-eyed for five seconds, like she could not believe it was really me, and only then said yes faintly. It was a strange conversation. We talked about a very bland thing at first completely avoiding the elephant in the room she started shaking then and when I looked at her she was crying. I asked what's wrong, she said she's dreamt about this say since we separated. When I very rudely told her I am not here to take her back as my wife, she said she knows and that she just dreamt of talking to me again. The entire convo was basically just me trying to get a reaction out of her by asking and saying intentionally hurtful stuff while she patiently explained and told me things I've always wanted to hear from her, but never quite accepted it. Why I could not reconcile five years ago has lot to do with this rage about her infidelity and all this anger that gets the better of me.
seething anger, I can't think of nothing else but that. I could not look at her without wanting to do something bad to her. I always had anger issues. I didn't even entertain the idea of talking to her or asking her questions. I wanted nothing to do with her full stop. She begged, pleaded, I felt nothing but rage. I could burn down the world with that much anger, not quite as much as before, but that anger was still there. I don't even remember a whole lot of my questions and statements, but she just calmly sat there explaining everything from her perspective, never blaming me for anything, apologizing over and over, validated my feelings. I don't know how why she did that, just know it felt really good to hear all that. I felt at peace. Later on, we moved out of the restaurant and walked on the pavements. She actually thanked me at the end for giving her a chance to say all of those things. She also told me she wants to be a part of my life again, if I let her. We don't need to remarry if I don't feel comfortable, we can chose what we want to be for each other. I am actually seriously considering working out things with her now, but I also think, is this just a high? I know as a fact that I was denying myself closure by avoiding talking to her. I needed that closure, about why she did it, if I was inferior or could not satisfy her in any way. I have listened to all the answers now, hence it feels like everything is resolved. Is that why I am now starting to think about her in that way again? Or do I actually want to be with her? With a cheater, I also think if it is possible for a cheating wife to feel so much regret and pain about her wrong decisions even five years later. She says she regrets it every single waking second of every minute of every day of her life for the last five years. She said she hated herself, and she will have sold her soul to turn back the hurt she caused me. How can a person turn from a selfish POS to a supposed selfless being who only exists for me? That does seem a bit much. I worry about if I'm being manipulated by her again. If she did it once she can do it again. Or is it me overthinking? I am just very confused. Friends comment what you think about this story share your experiences also give me like, subscribe and click on the bell for more Caspel stories. Comments 1. Seems like the reason you're confused is because you never really did any actual work on yourself to get over her and build yourself up emotionally. Is it possible she changed? Sure. Is it likely? Meh. She told you what you wanted to hear when you were with her, now she's telling you again what you want to hear. People can grow and change and mature, but everything you described about her painted her as having narcissistic tendencies and constant seeking of validation from other men. Without serious therapy it's extremely unlikely she's made any progress on fixing those issues. So the most likely scenario is that she hasn't changed much, and you haven't changed much, so you immediately feel the same attraction for her you did before, it's just a redo. 2. Agree. I was cheated on, it was painful, but my ex is not an evil person. She's a person. She made mistakes, I made mistakes. She paid the consequences. I kicked her out, now we live separately and we don't talk. I can't imagine living five years with the same anger and letting it simmer for so long without dealing with it. Yeah she probably hasn't changed. She's probably blamed herself for years and felt that pain constantly. But the resolution to that is not for you both to be together. She shouldn't have to be a selfless person who is wholly devoted to you. You're separated. She probably just needs to find a way to let go of that pain. It doesn't sound like either of you have really grown as people, sorry to say. Cheating is awful. But I would never want someone to suffer for five years just because they did something to hurt me. I definitely wouldn't want them to suffer for the rest of their life. Go to therapy, deal with your anger issues. You have to forgive yourself. And you could try to find a way to forgive her. It's the only way you are ever going to get past this. Jumping back into the relationship isn't going to solve anything. Move on with your life. 3. I live in a bad place where going to therapy is treated the same as going to an insane asylum. And counselors that practice here are not competent. I heard some very negative things. I know I need help with many issues, I don't know if I can find it without leaving my country, or at least my town. And I'm not very keen on online options. Seems like a gimmick. My ex-wife found got into spiritual discovery and meditation. She's even joined an ashram. It is not equal to therapy, but it is something. 
Neither of us are religious, but she does believe in the existence of some higher spiritual power. Personally I think it's ridiculous, but if it has helped her in any way, good for her. 4. I love that, I destroyed you and I would like to be your friend again but we don't have to remarry if you don't want. The ego in those remarks, like I'm pretending it's your choice but you know I'm down if you want. Damn that chick is working it hard. He is saying all the things to fool you once again. If you let this girl in again you are going to cave, you and we all know it. You're in a terrible state now imagine when she destroys you again. Think long and hard man. 5. Five years is a long time. And people do change in that time period, mostly. You know her more than the strangers on Reddit, so gauge how you feel when you are in a place of calm. You will probably get a lot of advice to not have anything to do with her. It is valid advice. But only you know if you see a possibility of, at least, having some kind of relationship. After all, you both had a friendship before. Know that going back into any contact with her will need to be new and begin again. If you do, take things slow and see where things go. Maybe what has happened in the five years is you no longer have her on a pedestal and have a better sense of self. You no longer see yourself as lucky that someone out of your league would have something to do with you. Hopefully, she found out that her looks will always mean she can have some guy willing to ball her, but having someone who will love her is hard to find. Never question your worth. 6. Never go down the same road, it will lead to the same dead end. She hasn't changed, the fairy tales that cheaters are changing are fake. What she did to you is beyond humanity. Even if we assume the incredible that she has become better, you will never forget the tragedy and will not come to terms with it. Let go of the past, finally. Overcome yourself, your future does not depend on a cruel cheater, but only on yourself. I don't know how much IC will help, but I advise you to change the location, go live in a completely different climate zone. Maybe it would be better to go to work in another country. You need to take your mind off everything that connects you to the past. It helped me. Good luck, bro. 7. People can change man, I have seen and talked to women who did way more damage to their husbands, got divorced and even 10 to 15 years later they regret each and every second of that, they didn't date it or even had relationships with another person in past 10 to 15 years. There was one woman with whom I had constant conversation, not only she cheated on her husband, she cheated him from day one of their dating, then engagement, then marriage and then gave birth to three children none of which was her husband's, all of them belonged to another man, that was when her husband found out, it has been more than 13 years of that incident and that women hasn't touched anyone since then. Cries every day and is ready to do anything to make this up to her husband. So people change man, if she really waited for you for 5 years and didn't date anyone maybe you can give her a chance, maybe she will make your life heaven going forward. Although I am curious to know what was the reason she cheated on you even on your wedding day, that is something new to me she was able to have relations with another man on her wedding day. OP, this is difficult to believe for me. I have never cheated but I have my fair share of regrets in life. But to keep feeling the same level of regret and guilt for years. I haven't experienced that, and I haven't seen that happen. Where have you heard these stories of people regretting it for 10 years? I did not ask her if she has dated in the last 5 years. I don't care, I was not in her life and I was seeing other people too. If she was seeing someone I will want to know but ultimately it's not my business if she is honest about it. As far as I know, she did not have relationships on the wedding day. But that's because her lover was not invited to the wedding. If he was, I know she would probably have done that too. Nothing was beyond that woman. When I compare the low-life pathetic things she did in the affair with how she's all sorry and regretful now, I find it even more hard to believe. She did that for one year. Come on. Friends comment what you think about this story share your experiences also give me like subscribe and click on the bell for more castable stories.